with me I have Rambo and Bear. How are you guys? Good. Not bad, yourself? Good. First of all, I want to say thank you so much for inviting us to the inaugural meeting of the Central Coast Tattoo Club. More than welcome. No worries. So how do you think yeah. it went tonight? I reckon it went well. Yeah? The first one in New South Wales, I reckon just kick on the table from now on. Yeah. What was the reasoning behind you starting up this tattoo club? To raise a little bit of awareness for people that um, get discriminated against for tattoos. Like, we uh, get in South Australia, it's pretty hard to find a nightclub or a pub that will allow you in it with an exposed tattoo. Who came up um, with the idea? Bear did. We thought, let's get a, a way of happening and get a group of people together. I made some really good friends from the Tattoo Club of SA, so, and some really good, good, good friends. So, the main, the main reason why we came up with the idea is because of the laws in South Australia are ridiculous, and bike clubs traditionally always put on the tattoo shows, yep. and the. They've made it that hard for bike clubs to, to put on any shows that most of them aren't bothering anymore, so there's no tattoo shows around. Yeah. So we thought we'd put on our own one to keep the, the tattoo public happy. Thank you so much, guys. I all wish right. you all the best. All no the best. No problem. Thank you very much. You can see there's a couple of girls that are in the club. What mischief do you guys get up to? What do you get away with? <laughs> we got a few boys from the club in the room. Um, <laughs> It's a great venue, we can have some, um, we've had some hens nights there, uh, we've got a women's day coming up soon which will be great. Um, I guess for us it's been a good chance to meet um, other chicks as well, it's yep. not one of those environments where you walk into a bar and the girls are looking each other up and down going like what she's about. Okay, so what made you guys get involved in this? Oh, with me, just a passion about the industry mate, you know? yeah. um, I'd like to see it sort of um, go, go out of that, you know, that, um, Stereotype you know, yep. um, yeah, just better, better the in, uh, industry's image, I suppose. For the past 12 years, the Labor government, run by Mike Rand, has waged a war on the bike clubs in South Australia, starting with the enforced banning of wearing colours, patches, logos, and, and licensed premises, and then, and then the banning of exposed tattoos on these premises, pushing his anti-biking laws, saying to the chief of public, public of South Australia that the laws will only affect the bikies. But nowhere in the legislation does it mention bikies, it refers to groups or organisations. These laws will effectively remove the rights of all Australians for a fair trial, the presumption of innocence and the right of freedom of association just to start with. If a group or organisation is declared and you associate with a member of that organisation on more than five occasions in one year, you will face five years prison. This is any group the current government perceives as a threat. Where does this type of discrimination end? Will the next type of people to be declared be tattooed people or a tattoo club? People with beards because they don't look right to the toffs in power who are running down this once great country? Our forefathers have put their lives on the line for us with returning in their graves to see while we send troops to another land to fight for their rights that ours are being eroded and stripped away. 